Today we are in a very special Mustang and it's not just any Mustang around. This is corn fed 5.0's Mustang GT that you see all the time all over social media and everywhere else and today we are going to figure out what makes this car so special. We're going to give you a quick little view of what it's like today we drive this thing. We'll do a couple pulls. But first, we are going to show you the exterior of this beautiful Mustang. All right, you guys. So stepping outside the vehicle here, you see these are brand new. Actually, they've been on the car about a week. These are some uh, Project 6GR wheels, and they are absolutely stunning. And over here, you have an Anderson composite carbon fiber hood, which looks absolutely amazing. A little bit of sunshine right there. You can kind of see it. Uh, bounce off the hood there. It looks very nice. Amazing touch indeed. We'll talk about what's under the hood here, which is obviously uh, the main attraction for sure in just a moment. But as we complete the walk around over here, you also see we have Anderson Composite uh, trunk, deck lid, and a little interesting touch here. You see these tail lights? These are actually from a 2018 Mustang GT. They're actually from my old Mustang GT, to tell you the truth, which is kind of cool to still see them on here. That's a very nice touch indeed. And then over here as well, the car's not on right now on purpose, so I don't have to yell over it. But over here, you have a Corsa Sport exhaust setup. Down here is very clean looking, and as you're about to hear in a little bit, it sounds amazing. But um, let's check out what's going on under the hood on this 5.0, which ain't like any 5.0 I've ever seen. All right, you guys, and under the hood here, <laughs> uh, we have a lot going on. At any car show, car meet I've ever seen at, there's always just a huddle of people always right around this car. This thing never sits alone, just trying to see what's going on under here. But uh, as you can see, there is a massive Whipple supercharger on here. This is a 2.9 uh, stage two piece right here, which looks absolutely amazing under here. Um, to tell you the truth, the amount of power this car puts out is nothing short of amazing. I mean, I think we're around Maybe 830 wheel. 830 wheel. And you can see under there the amazing, in my opinion, the best Coyote ever. That's the Gen 2 uh, Coyote 5.0 under there. Still running strong to this day. And um, it's absolutely amazing under here. I mean, just even from an aesthetic standpoint, it looks so clean, so amazing in here. And um, it's just amazing. Now, what you can't see right here, I'll uh, pop over here real fast. We actually do have an MGW short throw shifter in there, which uh, definitely comes in handy on this guy, but it's still a stock MT82 under it, no? Yeah, then it has a twin disc man tape clutch. Which is uh, very important because if you're gonna be putting out this type of power, uh, you better have a sturdy clutch under there, otherwise uh, this isn't going to be too pretty. So luckily uh, that is uh, remedied here, and this thing is just an absolute monster. And if you're wondering too, um, this car obviously does run on E85, and it does have a um, tune by Lund Racing, which um, helps this car run like gold. I mean, what we're going to show you here in this video, yeah, we're going to do a poll for sure, which, you know, that's the thing everyone wants to see. But what I'm also going to show you too is, can you run something around here that has 830 wheel horsepower as a daily driver? You're about to see right now whether that works or not. And I think you're actually going to be surprised by uh, the results there as well. And if you're also wondering, we will also put in the description a full list of everything that has been uh, done to this car from start to finish from the ground up. I mean, this was a Mustang GT at one point, but um, you can see it's way... Uh, more special than that now and i mean this thing puts out more power than any gt500 that stock any z01 that stock i mean this thing's an absolute monster i mean me being a huge nascar fan as well this thing puts out like over 230 horsepower more than a current uh, nascar cup series vehicle as well so uh that's impressive in any aspect and uh i think you're about to be impressed with what you are about to see
<laughs> all right you guys here we go we're about to take this thing on the road um we'll see what happens here first we're going to show you what this thing is like to be a daily driver first if you were to try something like that and show you can you drive around something that makes 830 horsepower just as a daily driver you're about to find out First off, this thing sounds amazing with that <laughs> whipple. Oh my God. This clutch does take some getting used to for sure. Wow, short though shifter really goes into gear nicely. about this literally if you're just cruising like this it drives like a regular car honestly feels fine so if you're working like 10 minutes away from where you live or whatever you do short commutes you can definitely drive this thing every day as long as you're willing to pay for the e every day or every other day whatever it ends up being but listen to that thing man <laughs> Now we're going to show you what y'all came for. Let's give you a little hint of what this thing can do on throttle. Some real on throttle action, if you will. This thing is pretty awesome right there. That's just to give you a little gist of what this thing can actually do. And uh, let me tell you something, it can do a lot. That is basically 950 horsepower, about 830 to the wheel. And uh, she is uh, tough beyond all means there. So um, <laughs> honestly, yeah, you're probably not gonna daily drive this car. And that's not what it's all about. What it's all about is what you just saw there. And um, if you're gonna ask me that's probably worth every penny for what it is because that was uh whew. if that doesn't get you excited folks nothing's going to and that right there is a promise all right you guys so that was absolutely crazy i've experienced a lot of things before uh behind the wheel but nothing quite like this i realized from the driving portion part of it that i really didn't get on it that much but um you gotta understand this car makes more than double the horsepower that my car over there uh makes i mean this thing is basically a 950 plus horsepower car right here it makes about 830 maybe a little bit more to the wheel itself so uh this thing is absolutely a monster and it is not here to uh just mess around uh my many thanks to corn fed 50 for letting me drive it for a few minutes that's something i never thought i would get to do to say i've driven a car that you know makes over 950 horsepower i never thought i'd be able to do anything like that in my lifetime anyway you know that's not a tesla but i'm not interested in those at all by any means so this is what life's about right here and this thing is just absolutely amazing and just um just being able to ride in the car in the passenger seat is an honor, but to actually be in the driver's seat was absolutely amazing and something I'll never forget. Um, if it's things like these you'd like to see or you have any questions, comments, or anything like that about this car in general, 
leave a comment in the comment section. I mean, hell, even like the video, give us a follow, and I promise you I will reply back to you. And um, that's about it for now, you guys. So just hope you have a great rest of your day, and thank you so much for watching, and hope to see you yet again in the next one.